cooking gnocchi for you today. I have some fresh gnocchi I bought down at our neighborhood supplier. I love this. Boiling water. I'm going to add a little salt. A good pinch of salt. I'm going to pour the gnocchi in. This is about two pounds of gnocchi. And in the pot it goes. I'm going to let those come up to a boil. I'm going to just, I'm going to stir them lightly here just to make sure they don't stick to the bottom of the pot. It's going to take about two to three minutes and they'll start coming up here. Now over here I have some Italian sausage. Nice big saute pan. I'm going to poke the sausage just a little bit to allow the, the liquids to come out. A touch of olive oil in this pan. There we go. And I'm going to start the sausage cooking. Very nice. The top, they're ready. Now I'm going to strain them. Uh-huh. Beautiful. So the gnocchi are cooked, they're nice and plump. I'm going to put a little olive oil on them. Lightly coat them with a little olive oil. There we go. I'm going to move them lightly. I don't want them to fall apart. Now back to our sausage. I'm turning the sausage now. They've, they've begun to get some color. They're perfect. This is a large pan, so I'm going to go ahead and leave the sausage here in the center. Let it cook on the other side. And I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle the gnocchi straight in this pan. If you don't want the sausage, you can just take the gnocchi and put it with a little olive oil. I'm going to allow the gnocchi to take up the flavor of the sausage. Just like that. There we go. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to let it cook lightly here. And I'm going to go ahead and add a touch more olive oil now. This is going to give the gnocchi a certain crispness. They're going to become almost crunchy on the outside. And it's a bit unique, but it makes it so delicious. You're going to love this. In about 10 minutes, you see the gnocchi getting a little color. The sausages are completely cooked. I'm going to bring them out and I'm going to slice them. Then I'm going to put them back in. So the sausages are out. Now you see the gnocchi. There we go. You see how some of them are getting a lot of color like that? That makes them crunchy and it just gives them, they're just lovely like that. There we go. So to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of chopped garlic. I didn't add it before because I don't want the garlic to burn. So I'm gonna add a little bit of chopped garlic Right now, I'm going to stir that in here. Oh, I like it. I can smell it now. It smells delicious. I'm going to add some shiitake mushrooms that have been sliced. There we go. Okay. So they're, they're going to begin to cook into this. And then I'm going to add to this a little bit of salt, a good pinch of salt, a spin of pepper, and I'm going to let it cook while I slice up those sausages.
the mushrooms have the shiitake mushrooms are cook cooking through now. So now what I want to do is I'm going to add this tomato con case. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. That's about two tomatoes. Now this is going to help it give it that freshness. I'm going to put the, the sausage back in now. There we go. Just like that. So this has come together nicely. The tomatoes begun to heat through. I, I, do, I don't want it to overcook. So I'm going to put a little chiffonada basil in here now. A pinch of nutmeg. Some fresh spinach leaves. I'm going to go ahead and turn those in there. There we go. Looking nice. Mixing nicely. Now, if you can't flip the pan, you can use a rubber spatula. Don't wreck your pan. That's fine just as well. Now, the last thing is I'm, I'm going to put in some fresh mozzarella. This is Cellini mozzarella, which just means there is about cherry size. Now if you can't find these mozzarella, you can just buy some fresh mozzarella and cut it up. And then if you want to use something else like Parmesan cheese, you're welcome to do that. But the mozzarella gives it something very special. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sprinkle these through the little bowl. I'm going to just leave this now for about one to two more minutes. And this mozzarella is going to begin to melt. And it's going to create this runniness in the gnocchi that's going to be delicious. It's ready. I'm going to pour it in this bowl. Wow, I like it. Can you see the mozzarella beginning to melt like this? Later on, when it all comes, when you start serving it, you'll get these strands of mozzarella. It's just lovely. I love this. Let me see. Delicious!